It's almost 50 degrees and it's 9.34 on Tuesday, March 9th. I'm excited. Okay, this is weird. I'm I'm coming out here to do my vlog in the snow. <laughs> I hope it's not too sunny in your face. This is an old familiar spot. Oh my gosh. So it's 49.6 degrees, but I'm wearing my Washington Square cardigan from the Metropolitan Knits book and the sun is bright on me and there's not a cloud in the sky. Yes, there is. I lied. So I thought I'd be out here. Good morning. I didn't get quite as much done yesterday. No big shocker that I expected, but I did get a couple cards done and my sympathy card got mailed, so that's good. I will be doing more cards today, but I will. My main thing today is I'm getting my hair cut. So I will be going out and about a little bit. I didn't do any knitting. I don't know. The day ended up getting away from me. I did a little organizing, not as much as I needed to, but I also figured out a few things, so that's good. Anyway, the day just really got away from me. I was, my tummy's a little, mm. It was okay, but you know, I wasn't feeling great, certainly not energetic. And uh, so I didn't get a lot done. Very unusual for me. <laughs> Although when I'm in a when I'm on and when I'm on a roll with knitting, I do get a lot of knitting done, but anyway. Uh, uh But it's nice to be outside. I heard the woodpecker in the far distance. I'm sure you didn't hear him. But, uh, but now I'm hearing the wind. It wasn't that windy before, but now the wind is picking up. It's like I can hear it through the trees and now it's really picking up. Isn't that funny? You might be able to hear that. So anyway, today is getting my hair cut. We have been, we've moved the dog walk to a little bit later because we take Pearl's cone off for her walk and then we feed them right away so she doesn't have to deal with the cone. And then if she looks like she will romp a little bit with Maisie, we leave it off for a little while and keep a close eye on her. But she was really trying to get at that foot this morning, so I think she's at a very itchy stage. So she's still in the cone, poor baby. But it's not even a week yet, so. So anyway. All is well here. Just need to get more done in my room. So I'll work on that a little bit more today. Work on more cards today and maybe make some progress on my Prague sweater. And that's the plan. My tummy's still a little, so. I mean, it's not upset or anything. It's just I'm off. I'm off. I'm a little off. So let's not discuss it. But It's having an effect on my day, too, but it is so gorgeous today. So gorgeous. And it's going to be 60. I'm so excited. Oh, that'll be a new color. <laughs> 55 will be a new color. I wonder what comes after rooster. I think I'll go into the greens. That'd be fun. I'm talking about the books on my temperature bookshelf. For those of you who are new, I have a temperature bookshelf project I'm doing with my daughter. And I'm falling behind now because we didn't craft together on Sunday. But we are crafting together on Thursday, so that's when I'll catch up on my book. Well, I don't know if I can do a week and a half in our crafting session, but could happen. 
You never know. So, if I continue to not feel very energetic, I will, uh, I'll be working on my sweater or my paintings. If I feel energetic, I'll be working more in my room. And Lisa is right, just a good sort out will make a big difference. If I just go in there and just, I have to start in my craft room and it's actually, because I emptied it so much, it's not that huge of a deal. I just need to go in there and get organized. Oh, I forgot to bring out my yarn. I got a knit crate. Dennis says, ah, oh, I see your no by years go great. Well, the knit, this knit crate was paid for before March 1st, which is, you know, but they already took the next one out. So I canceled my knit crate, but I will be getting one more. I, I, I will be getting one more, I'm sure, so. Oh well, I'll show it to you tomorrow. That'll be something really exciting to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's nice, but it is windy. I'm afraid you're gonna be just here in the wind. I hear, I can hear birds in my bed, you know, from my bedroom while I'm getting ready to get up. But I'm not hearing any now. And there, I don't know, there might be some buds on that elm tree. And there's some buds on the maple tree, so you never know. One of these days, it's gonna be a little green happening here. <laughs> I do love wearing my sweaters and I do love wearing my socks, but I will admit to be being ready for spring this year. We did a lot of shoveling. I can't believe there's still a little bit of snow left on this deck. Well, actually, there's a little snow left in the yard. Not tons. Just enough to make sure it continually gets watered <laughs> and made into mud. <laughs> well, it got tramped down there. That's where the dogs entered the yard, and so the snow got tramped into ice. Anyway, I am ready for spring. I am ready for spring. I will give you that much. So, well, it's a beautiful day for me to go out and about. So that's nice. Maybe I'll think of some other things I need to do while I'm out. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's it for me. I'm hoping to be a little more energetic. I'm not sure that will happen. <laughs> And you'll find out tomorrow, and you're not going to be surprised either way. Well, you might be surprised if I get a lot done. <laughs> I, I'll be surprised if I get a lot done. <sighs> please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and healthy. I will talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe and stay sane.